Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the bearing representation of the a vector. So remember last time we talked about the graphical representation whereby we used certain references to be able to determine actually the direction using a protractor. So this is a similar case but then a bearing is strict because you just used north as your reference line. So north. So this is the northern side, the eastern side, the western side, and the southern side. So here, let's look at the examples which we are given here. So here we are given what? We are given Fa, which is 10 newtons on a bearing of 60 degrees. So 60 degrees. So here when you are going to represent this vector, we are having the magnitude of it, which is equal to 10 newtons and the direction says what 60 degrees or uh, it says 60 degrees it's 10 newtons on a bearing of 60 degrees so when you're doing a bearing number one thing you take your same protractor again but then when you're doing a bearing it's different because you all start at the northern side in this way so let's actually tilt it like this this is our protractor and then we put it over here as you can see here, so let me actually do the opposite direction. So here it is, here's a protractor. So whenever you are doing a bearing, you should put it using the zero degrees north. It, that this, this means that this zero must be on the northern side of this Cartesian plane or of this compass in this way. So what you have to do is just, we have to construct, we have just to construct from the zero degrees point, from the zero degrees point, we construct until 65. You can see here we're at 30, 40, 50, 60, and then, oh, it's actually 60. So it, it will actually end at this point here. It will actually end at 60. The point which I marked with red is where the vector will actually end. So let's take our protector away for a moment. So you can see, now we can actually draw a line which is representing vector F1. So it can start from this point, it should start from that point. So here it is, up to this 60 here, which I marked with red. So this means, this is what? This is 60 degrees here. This is the bearing, 60 degrees. So in a bearing you use, zero degrees north as your reference so let's look at another example just for more clarity so you can see here it says eight newtons on a bearing of 192 degrees so here in this case this is uh, another vector you're given let's actually name this fa i mean so here i came in fb which is equals to eight newton this is the magnitude of the vector on a bearing of 192 degrees so we just do the very same method we just take our protractor again uh, let's take our protractor again here we have our protractor and then we put it here with zero degrees as our reference make sure that it aligns here and we have to draw 192 degrees first thing you have to determine where is 192 degrees so here you can see that the protractor actually ends at 180 degrees therefore let us construct the whole 180 first of all so from zero degrees we start until we reach 180 degrees now we've reached 180 degrees remember it's on a bearing of 192 therefore we might we are left with 12 degrees to complete our bearing so here we're just going to say 180 because of covered 180 uh we're just going to say 192 minus 180 to get 12 degrees remaining so here we're just going to tilt again tilt again just make sure that it gives us 12 degrees so here 12 degrees this is 180 here and then this is 10 and then 12 so we continue exactly from this point and then we have reached 170 which is 10 here and then 12 so we just have to construct that 12 degrees again so if we're going to take away our protractor here our bearing our vector is actually going to start from this point from this point up to here you see 
So it's starting from this point. This is the starting point of the vector. But then that doesn't mean that this is only 12 degrees. Because if we're going to measure here, this is 12 degrees from the negative y-axis. So the bearing is actually starting here from the zero degrees north all the way all the way up to here so this is your bearing so i am sure this is more represented in a more professional manner you can see here it was starting from zero degrees it moved all along all along all along up to 192 degrees so this is how you do a bearing so here we've already represented two vectors so this other vector let me actually cancel this line uh this other vector Uh, even this one let me just cut it so that it it does not get that messy so here you can see we've got 60 degrees and 192 degrees this is what 192 degrees so this vector is f b we have titled the vector so i've got f a and f b so this is how you use the protractor to make a bearing so let's look at f c what is the value of f c the magnitude of FC is 5 newtons. So this is the magnitude of FC and is on the bearing of 335 degrees. 335 degrees. So this means that this vector is going to be what? It's going to be 335 degrees. Remember, we always use north as a reference point. So when you're going to use this, we're actually going to use north as our reference point here. So we take our protractor, we make sure that it's tilted in this way, straight up and put it here, make sure that it aligns, and now we have to actually draw 335 degrees. Remember this protractor only ends at 180 degrees. We therefore have to make sure that we draw extra, uh, extra degrees from the 180 degrees. So we're just going to first represent the 180 degrees all the way from the zero degrees line all the way here and then becomes 180 let us look at how much do we have left so here you have covered 180 so let's see 5 minus 0 is 5 the here it is 3 minus 2 is 1 13 minus 8 uh, is going to be 5 i think yeah so we've got 155 degrees remaining so here we know that we are remaining with what 155 degrees after we've covered 180 degrees so let us do another tilt so that we can be able to draw the 155 degrees so let's actually tilt it tilt it and tilt it and this way this is actually 90 degrees tilt it tilt it tilt it tilt it until this point <coughs> so you can see here if we're going to put it here we have to draw 155 degrees we're just continuing from here so this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 degrees 100 110 120 130 140 150 and then 155 is here that is your bearing this time so this is what 155 degrees which is left covering over there so if you are going to draw this we're going to start at the starting point always so this is the starting point and then we draw our bearing we make sure that it aligns with the angle first of all it aligns with the angle now we've already represented our uh, another bearing so this is basically how we do bearing so this is fc this is the third vector which is how many newtons which is um five newtons so this is 5n uh, fa was uh, 10 newtons and then fb is eight newtons this is what eight newtons so we've represented all our vectors so let me actually delete this line so that you can actually draw this bearing in a wonderful way yes so let's just cut this away cut this away and then we draw our bearing from the starting point which is the zero degrees north and then all the way until the vector here and we title it 335 degrees we're not going to just say 155 this time why is because this vector continued 155 degrees from 180 remember we first constructed a whole 180 up to this point which i'm marking with red 
this was 180 degrees this was another 90 and then this is was this finally was 155 so this is actually 335 degrees so this is how you represent vectors in a bearing so as you can see here that this vector which moves all the vectors are all the degrees are moving from zero degrees so this is the difference between the graphical representation of a vector and a bearing thank you for watching stay tuned for the third method of representing vectors